Hey there, amazing VJ person. In this tutorial, we're having a look at Luma keying in Resolume Arena and Avenue. Luma key, which is short for luminance key, is a video editing technique used to make parts of a video transparent based on the brightness levels. This is a useful tool in the arsenal of a talented VJ like yourself when mixing layers of opaque content. So much for the sales pitch, let's get started. Luma key is a blend mode in Resolume Arena and Avenue. The blend mode of a layer can be set over here. When I lower the opacity of the layer with the Luma key blend mode, we can see that parts of the content of the layer are keyed out. So what is actually happening here? To answer this question, we first need to understand what Luma key means, starting with the Luma. When working with video, luminance or Luma represents the brightness of each pixel, ranging from black, the darkest, to white the brightest. It is important to understand that luminance is independent of color, meaning that a bright red and bright blue pixel could have the same luminance if they are equally bright. To complicate it a little more, the human eye perceives green as brighter than other colors, and this is taken into account when calculating the luminance of a pixel. Are you still with me? Let's talk about keying before I start feeling like a Wikipedia article and you start editing me. Luckily, keying is much easier to explain. Keying simply means that you remove or isolate a part of the video. The most well-known example of this is chroma keying, where you take a color range and remove it from the video. With that background information out of the way, let's move on to the blend modes. Resolume Arena and Avenue have two Luma key effects. Luma key and Luma key I. The I is shorthand for inverted. Luma key will key out the least luminous pixels first. In this example, Moving the opacity slider down a little already gets rid of the dark pixels. The inverted Luma key will key out the most luminous pixels first. In this example, moving the opacity slider down removes the yellow lines from this footage. Luma keying a layer can result in some pretty harsh mixes and transitions. When working with footage like these video synth clips, it's part of the aesthetic. But when working with nice 3D renders, it looks like your graphic card is on a holiday. A simple fix for this can be found in the layer panel. When a layer is set to the Luma key or inverted Luma key blend modes, a smoothing option appears. Adding a bit of smoothing goes a long way in cleaning up the artifacts introduced by the keying. Besides the smoothing options, we can also use the Luma is Alpha blend mode. This blend mode will slowly replace the alpha of a layer with the luminance value. This can be clearly seen in this clip, where we get rid of the darker pixels first. Generally speaking, the blend mode is similar to a regular alpha blend, but it will retain the brightest pixels longer while discarding the darkest pixels sooner. In this example, an opacity of 60% gets rid of all the dark pixels while maintaining the bright white pixels. In this example, we do the same allowing us to blend the bright shapes while discarding the black background. As for comparisons, here is a Luma is Alpha blend versus a regular Alpha blend. And that wraps it up for the blend modes. Now that you are a Luma key expert, feel free to refer to yourself as the Lord of Luminance and let's look at some examples. Luma keying two layers of footage with a similar palette and luminance range can give you some mixing options that no other blend mode really can. The trick here is to remove only a small part of the first layer in order to not confuse the eye too much. Here I'm getting rid of the low luminance pixels on the top layer. The second layer contains a similar clip. This results in a picture in picture kind of effect. Luma key can also be used as a transition. In this example, I've set up the transition blend mode to be the inverted Luma key with 50% smoothness. This is giving me these funky transitions between these landscape shots. Note that the layer opacity smoothness and the transition smoothness are set separately. Luma key is also a great method of blending film effects into your footage. Think film grain, noise, dust or other textures to roughen up your clips. In this example, I am using Arena's built-in static source and the inverted Luma key. Because we are filtering the white pixels out first, we get a dark noise, which blends much easier with other content than bright noise, which we would get if we were to use an alpha blend mode. 
And with that, I would like to wrap up this tutorial. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.